Okay, so in this video, um, we're going to be looking at going back to the quadratics and then thinking, okay, is there an alternative way uh, rather than working out the sum of the roots and the product of the roots um, and then extending that up to cubics and cortex in the next couple of videos. So we're going to look at uh, 3z squared plus 5z take away 4 equals 0. And this has got roots alpha and beta. Find a new quadratic equation with integer coefficients with roots. So we're going to go through a, uh, three examples here. So first one, 2 alpha and 2 beta. Okay. So what I'm going to be using here is referred to as the substitution method. Okay. Now the idea would be that um, if we're saying that the roots are alpha and beta, then I would be able to solve this equation to get z equals alpha and z equals beta. Okay. So that would be the idea. But now uh, I'm needing to get 2 alpha and 2 beta. Okay, so the consequence is that alpha would be z over 2, or let's write it as 1 half z, and beta would be 1 half z. Okay, so if I substitute for z 1 half z, I should end up with a quadratic equation that has those two as its roots. And we'll be able to double check that using uh, our calculator's equation solver. So let's see. So we would have three lots of 1 half z squared, so substituting it directly in, plus five lots of 1 half z, take away 4 equals 0. Okay, so we've got three lots of 1 half squared, so that's three quarters z squared, plus five halves z, take away 4 equals 0. Now, if I multiply through by 4 to get the integer coefficients, I'm going to get 3z squared plus 10z take away 16 equals 0. OK? So, if we solve the original equation, so we've got 3, 5, and minus 4, we get... Um, Let's just write it down here. So minus 5 sixths plus or minus root 73 over 6. Okay, so that's, they are the solutions to the original equation. Okay, they're those roots. Now if I try it with this equation, so 3, 10 and minus 16, we get minus 5 thirds plus or minus root 73 over 3. OK, so what we've got here are twice the amount of these. Because if you multiply this through by 2, you would get those roots there. So it's clearly worked. OK, and this is the equation that I want. So this substitution method uh, is reasonably quick in this case, right? So let's have a look at the second one. OK, so I'm just going to raise that amount. Just keep those there. OK, so we're now saying that we need z to be alpha plus 1 and beta plus 1. OK, so if I subtract 1 from both of those, then... If I were to substitute z minus 1 into this, then I would get the new equation that I need. Okay? Actually, it would have been useful to just keep that one up there, wouldn't it? So let's go back. So 3, 5, minus 4. So that was minus 5, 6, plus or minus root 73 over 6. So I'll keep that there. Okay. So we're going to substitute z minus 1 in. So we get 3 lots of z minus 1 squared plus 5 lots of z minus 1, uh, take away 4 equals 0. So we need to expand this out. So we've got 3 lots of z squared take away 2z plus 1 plus 5z minus 5 minus 4 equals 0. 
So 3z squared take away 6z plus 3 plus 5z take away 9 equals 0. So 3z squared uh, minus 6z plus 5z, so take away z, uh, plus 3 take away 9z so minus 6 equals 0. So what would we be expecting? Okay, we'd be expecting that I would be able to add 1 to this. So we should get 1 sixth plus or minus root 73 over 6. So let's try that. So 3 minus 1 minus 6. And we get 1 sixth plus or minus root 73 over 6. So we get precisely this, but both the solutions have had 1 added to them. OK, as we expected. So really, I mean, this one's easier to see as to why this one should work, maybe maybe more than the first example, because what are you doing? You're translating the graph, OK, uh, one unit to the right. So that's why you would substitute in Z minus 1, because you want to translate one unit to the right. If you wanted to translate one unit to the left, then you would substitute in Z plus 1. OK, so this makes perfect sense as to why this is working. All right, let's look at the last one. So we've got 2 alpha take away 3 and 2 beta take away 3. OK, so if we rearrange these, you'll get z plus 3 over 2 equals alpha and z plus 3 over 2 equals beta. So if we replace the z with z plus 3 over 2, we've got 3 lots of z plus 3 over 2 squared plus 5 lots of z plus 3 over 2. Uh, take away 4 equals 0. Right, so we've got the uh, 1 half here, so squaring that as a quarter. So we've got 3 quarters times z plus 3 squared, which is z squared plus 6z plus 9. And then we've got 5 halves z, and then 5 halves times 3, so plus 15 halves, take away 4 equals 0. OK, so multiplying through, we've got 3 quarters z squared. OK, then we've got 3 quarters times 6, so 9 halves z. And then 3 quarters times 9, so 27 quarters. Then plus 5 halves z. And then we've got 15 halves, take away 4, so that's 7 halves uh, equals 0. So 3 quarters z squared. And then we've got 9 halves plus 5 halves, so 7 z. And then 27 quarters plus 7 halves is 41 quarters. Then I need to multiply through by 4 to get the integer coefficients. So 3z squared plus 28z plus 41 equals 0. OK, so let's pop that into my equation solver just to see what I'm getting. So I'm getting minus 14 thirds plus or minus root 73 over 3. So I'm just using this as a double check, OK, to make sure it makes sense. So I'm multiplying all of that through by 2, OK, uh, which is going to get me the root 73 over 3, so that matches, and I'd get minus uh, 5 thirds. And then I'm subtracting 3, so minus 5 thirds take away 9 thirds gets you down to the minus 14 thirds. And so that works out perfectly as well. OK, so this is how you can use the substitution method as an alternative method um, to finding a new equation with given roots.